How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video and hope you're having a lovely time wherever you are in the world. I'm still in Vegas checking out CES 2020 and it's been fun so far. So I stopped by Kyocera's booth to check out what they have in store, what solutions they have in store for autonomous driving. And they have a few things that we can check out and talk about. The first is the AI camera. Uh, this camera is actually designed to be the eyes for your car. So if you put one in the front and the back as well, it's quite mini miniature as well. So they're quite small, so they don't protrude. They can easily be fitted in a car. Uh, so car manufacturers can use it to be extra eyes for your car. The AI capabilities that this camera can do uh, is the fact that they can see objects. So they can see pedestrians, they can see other vehicles, they can see bicycles. They can even see parking spaces. So for example, at the moment, the way parking spaces are spotted is using the line markings, like the lane markings or the parking space markings. But with this AI camera, you'll be able to see the spaces even when there's no lane markings there at all, which is quite cool. You can even see around the corner as well. So if people are uh, coming from behind the car that's parked up already, taking stuff out, like grocery out, for example, this will still be able to see them even before you can spot them as well. Having this in a car means safer car, safer autonomous vehicles, and safer advanced uh, driver assistance systems uh, for cars out there. So drivers can feel a lot safer, cars are safer as well. What's really great about this is the fact that it's so tiny as well, besides the AI capabilities. Although this was set up in a booth environment, it will be interesting to see how this actually uh, works in the real life, in the real world, to see how this actually functions in, and see in action. The next one that they've got is a camera LiDAR fusion technology or sensor. Uh, this is very fascinating because I'm quite interested in LiDAR technology in general. And what LiDAR can do is detect things like distance between what's on the road and detects other things on the road. But what you can't do is actually tell you what that is. Whilst LiDAR technology is considered as something that's very essential to autonomous driving and is highly accurate, but what Kyocera have developed here is a highly precise camera LiDAR fusion sensor which reduces that distortion and parallax error by integrating LiDAR distance measuring into the camera's image sensor itself. So they've combined this together, fused it together and make your car see further and actually know what it's actually saying. So not only can it measure the distance, it can actually see what's there as well. So if you notice I'm uh, near, the cam near the camera or the car, for example, you'll be able to still tell that it's a human being or a, an object and how far they are as well. This is great considering the size of it. It means car manufacturers can put a couple of these uh, on the car again on the front and the back and gives your, ca your car that extra eyes on the road to be able to know where it's going and keep you safe as a driver and keep other vehicles, other road users safe as well. Besides all the advanced AI solutions that they've developed for autonomous driving, they also had other technology on the booth as well, which I found quite interesting. They had the world's first carbohydrates monitoring system, which I tried out as well. So this smart carbohydrates monitoring system is a breakthrough device that can estimate the carbohydrates metabolism by measuring your heartbeat through the wrist. It analyzes the pulse wave patterns with a built-in gyro sensor in the actual device itself and it displays the results on your smartphone afterwards. This is good for your lifestyle wellness applications including diet monitoring and pre-diabetic awareness with no need for like needles or blood sampling, that kind of stuff that you would normally have to do to get this sort of measurement. The device itself connects via Bluetooth to your smartphone, so it's gonna be, when it's fully in, uh, the, when it's gone through the development stage, it'll be available with iOS and Android. So connecting them to your smartphone, you'll be able to then quickly measure it and you can see the state. It gives you a score, gives you like a smiley face as well. But again, this is still in development, so that user interface will be a lot more user friendly and a lot better for understanding what it actually means. So that's it from Kyocera this year at CES 2020, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, drop them there as well. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be one of the first people to know whenever there's a video on this channel. There's more videos coming out of CES, so stay tuned for that as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.